All right, here we go. We're starting the fall overseed project today. First thing I'm doing is I'm scalping this Kentucky bluegrass down to a half an inch. There's a few reasons why I'm scalping it down right now. Number one, when I go to overseed, I just want to make sure that the existing turf isn't going to overshadow the new baby grass. Second, I want to be able to go over this with a scarifier and make sure that I'm able to clean up any debris that accumulated over the summertime because there's some dead grass and some thatch in here that I just want to get out of there so I can make sure that when I put my seed down, I'm going to have good seed to soil contact to improve the chances of having germination. And the third reason I'm scalping this down is because I got a pile of sand that I'm going to put on top of this Kentucky bluegrass to make sure that it's nice and level. Now, if I got a bunch of tall grass out here and I'm trying to put sand on it, it's going to make that job incredibly difficult. So right now I got the daunting task of scalping this down and cleaning up all those grass clippings. All right, I just finished scalping this down from three inches to a half an inch with the Swordman. Now you don't have to have a Swordman to do this. You can just do it with your rotary mower and then use something like a Sunjo D Thatcher. Or if you have a power equipment rental place near you, they probably have professional grade D Thatchers that you could rent pretty cheaply. Well, I ran out of daylight cleaning up that mess. Fortunately, I got a lot of junk out of the lawn. So tomorrow, we'll get going on the next step. All right, so I just rented one of these core aerators from a local rental company. Now this is gonna be an important step in the overseed process. It's gonna pull a plug and allow nutrients to get into the soil better. It's also gonna improve the strength of the root system and it'll also reduce the soil compaction. So I'm just gonna go ahead, run this over the yard and then clean up the plugs because I'm gonna be doing a sand level project after this and I don't wanna be mixing the sand in the plug. Well, it looks like we got some okay plugs here. I'd say if you're gonna go ahead and do this and aerate your lawn, make sure that you irrigate first. It pulls a better plug if the soil is a bit moist. Now you can skip this next step because I'm gonna run this over with the scarifier and pick up these plugs here because I'm gonna be doing sand leveling after I do that. Now, if you're not doing the sand level, then I'd say just leave the plugs on the turf and then you can go ahead and overseed but for now, I'm just going to go pick up these plugs and then we'll start the sanding process. All right, so that Swordman, it did a pretty nice job of picking up all those cores. I got those off of the Kentucky bluegrass, but now we're gonna begin the sand leveling project. So I was able to have 4,000 pounds of sand delivered to my house. It's mason sand and that's pretty fine stuff and that's just gonna settle into this Kentucky bluegrass nice and easily. The problem is spreading it by hand. That's gonna be a pain, but we'll get it done here. Oh, 
Okay, it's seeding day today, and some of you have been asking, hey, when can I begin this process? Well, I'd say you can begin this process anytime between mid-August and mid-September. But there's a couple of things that are more important than the exact date you should start this, and it has mainly to do with the weather. One, you don't wanna do this when it's 90 degrees out because it's gonna be really hard to keep the seed moist when it's 90 degrees out. And second, you also don't wanna do it when you see any thunderstorms in the forecast because that could just lead to a washout. You get a big heavy rain and washes all your seed away, all your hard work is done. So you wanna pay attention to the weather and make sure that you're gonna have a cool period and it's not gonna be raining very heavily. If you can avoid those two things, then you're probably going to have a successful overseed. Now today we're putting down the SS1100 from the Seed Superstore. It's a mix of three grasses. It's got Mazama, Midnight, and Blue Bank. Now it's a beautiful grass. I overseeded with it last year and it came up and it looked great. So we just wrapped up the seeding process. After putting the seed down, I rolled it in. I just wanna make sure that I got good seed to soil contact just to aid in germination. After rolling it in, I put down a starter fertilizer. You wanna use something with a high middle number. That's phosphorus and the phosphorus is gonna help a new baby plant develop its root system. After putting that starter fertilizer down, I put down a pre and post emergent herbicide called Tenacity on the lawn. I just wanna make sure that I'm not going to get any weeds popping up as I go through this process. And so now we can begin the final step. We're going to put down our peat moss with our peat moss spreader. Now I was fortunate enough to have Easy Do send me one of these peat moss spreaders because these peat moss spreaders make this job bearable. Spreading peat moss by hand is one of the most miserable experiences and this just makes it much easier to do. So I got some bags of peat moss here. We're going to put them into the spreader and spread this peat moss around as quick as we can so we can wrap up this project. Okay, we're done spreading the peat moss around. One piece of advice, if you're gonna get a peat moss spreader, make sure that you buy smaller bags of the peat moss because they're a lot easier to put into the peat moss spreader. Now that we got our peat moss spread, I'm just gonna get out the irrigation. I'm gonna water this for 10 minutes every hour between the hours of 9 a.m. and 5 p.m. and that should help me get germination. If you have any questions, please let me know in the comments below. Go ahead and like and subscribe. And if you do subscribe, then you'll be able to get the updates on how this project ended up. So thanks for watching and we'll see you on the next one.